phylum Porifera. In this video, I will explain the classification of phylum Porifera. Porifera's commonly known as sponges are classified into three main classes on the basis of their endoskeleton. The endoskeleton of sponges is made up of spicules or spongine fibers. Further spicules are of two types. Spicules are made up of calcium carbonate, so they are known as calcareous spicules and sometimes the spicules are made up of silicon dioxide, so they are known as siliceous spicules. So, Porifera is divided into three main classes. The first is known as Calcarea, class Calcarea. The second class is known as Hylospongia. And uh, Hylospongia is also known as Hexatinilida. And the third class is Demospongia. So these are the three classes of Porifera's and their classification is mainly based on the endoskeleton, on the spicules and spongine fibers. And now I will uh, explain some of the diagnostic features of each class. The first is calcarea. As the name suggests, calcarea means the spicules will be made of calcium carbonate. So the members of the class Calcarea, they are exclusively marine. Exclusively means that all of them are found in the sea water. No one is found in fresh water. And in the sea, they are found in shallow waters, not in the deep water. The second point is the spicules are made up of calcium carbonate. So they are known as calcareous spicules. And the spicules may be uh, one rate or they have three rays or some spicules have four rays. So if uh, they have one ray, they are known as monoexon spicules, triexon spicules if they have three rays. And if the spicules are made up of four rays, they are known as tetraexon spicules. And third number point is about their body organization. So, calcarea sponges, their body organization is uh, either esconite type or psychonite type or ligonite type. It means that they have escon type of canal system, some have psychon type of canal system and some sponges in calcarea have lecon type of canal system. Examples include escon, psychon and lecosolinia. So these are the main points of class Calcarea in which the spicules are made up of calcium carbonate. The second class is known as Hylospongia. The another name is Hexactinilida. Hexactinilida, hexa means six. It means that the spicules present in this class has six rays. And hylospongia, they are commonly known as glass sponges. So members of hylospongia are also exclusively marine. All of them are found in the sea water and they are found in the deep waters. Second point is uh, this class contains spicules. There is no spongine fibers but the spicules are made up of uh, silica. That's why they are known as siliceous spicules and spicules have six rays that is why the name hexactinilida is given to this class third point is the outer layer the epidermis or legs pinacocytes pinacocytes they are absent in the outer layer and the well known example is euplectilla euplectilla is commonly known as venus flower basket and it is used for the ornamental purposes. The next class is Demospongia. The members of Demospongia, they are mostly marine, but some are found in the fresh water. And the well-known example is Spongella. 
Spongilla is commonly known as a fresh water sponge. A second point is about their skeleton. So in Demospongia, either the skeleton is absent, it means there are no spicules and no spongine fibers. In some cases, the spicules are present and which are made up of silica. So they are siliceous spicules. And in some Demospongia, spongine fibers are present and in some cases both spicules and spongine fibers they are present so there is a variety of condition regarding the endoskeleton in case of demospongia uh, next point is about their siliceous spicules so as i told you that hylospongia also contain siliceous spicules and demospongia also have some members of demospongia also have siliceous spicules so what will be the difference between two in case of uh, hylospongia the spicules are always six rayed they have six rays but in case of demospongia the spicules are either monoaxon having one ray or tetraaxon having four rays next point is about body organization so in case of demospongia the body organization is of leconite type it means that they have lecon type of canal system and the coloration is brilliant in case of demospongia uh, because the pigments are present in their amebocytes and well known example is uh, oscarella this sponge is bri brilliantly colored uh, examples include spongilla which is a freshwater sponge and u spongia which is commonly known as bath sponge because u spongia um, has no spicules and it contain only spongine fibers and it is used for bathing purpose so it was about the classification of porifera don't forget to subscribe the channel and thanks for watching it